Imagine yourself digging through the sands of the Egyptian desert, feeling the scorching heat and the whispering wind that seems to carry ancient secrets. You are surrounded by a sea of golden dunes, and instead of finding just stones and dust, you come across the entrance to an ancient Christian temple, semi-buried and mysteriously preserved by time. Inside this temple, workers had incredible luck in 1945 when they discovered a large jar, sealed and untouched for centuries. When they opened the jar, they found 13 leather-bound manuscripts, each containing secrets that could change history. These manuscripts housed 48 distinct works, many of them containing Gnostic teachings that promise salvation through mystical knowledge. Imagine the hidden power in these texts, as if they were a portal to a reality where mind and spirit intertwine, revealing truths that transcend time and space. Among these texts was the enigmatic Gospel of Thomas, a gospel that could change everything we know about faith and human power. As you unfold the scrolls, you feel a strange energy emanating from them, as if the words had a life of their own. Each manuscript is not just a piece of history, they represent a glimpse of lost knowledge, a bridge between the physical and the metaphysical. The ancient words seem to whisper promises of hidden wisdom, a wisdom that could reveal the secrets of the universe and our own being. These manuscripts are more than relics. They are invitations to explore the depths of mind and soul, to unravel the mysteries that connect our physical existence to a metaphysical dimension where knowledge becomes the key to salvation. The Gospel of Thomas, in particular, stands out as an enigmatic guide, offering a new perspective on human power and the true nature of faith. Imagine the impact of a text that challenges all our traditional understandings, suggesting that within each of us resides unlimited power, a divine potential waiting to be awakened. Each page reveals more mysteries, each line seems to shine with hidden meaning, promising insights that could transform not just faith but the very essence of our existence. The discovery of these manuscripts is a reminder that there is more to the universe than meets the eye, and that true power may lie in the hidden wisdom they contain. As you continue to explore these ancient texts, you feel a deep connection with those who wrote them, as if you were participating in a secret conversation that spans millennia. These manuscripts are the key to a spiritual and metaphysical journey, one that promises to reveal truths that can free us from our material limitations and connect us with a higher power that transcends human understanding. If you enjoyed this content and wish to continue exploring these fascinating mysteries, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave your like, and share this video with your friends on social media. This helps us bring more amazing content to you. Stay until the end, as we will delve even deeper into these teachings and how they can transform your life. Discovery and Significance of the Manuscripts Inside the jar, the workers found manuscripts revealing profound Gnostic teachings. These texts were not mere scriptures. They were keys to esoteric knowledge that could transform humanity's understanding of salvation. Instead of following established rituals or dogmas, these manuscripts proposed that true salvation came through mystical knowledge and deep introspection, connecting the human being to higher frequencies of existence. Among these literary treasures, the Gospel of Thomas stands out impressively. Unlike the canonical Gospels that follow a linear narrative about the life and teachings of Jesus, the Gospel of Thomas is a collection of 114 sayings, each attributed to Jesus. These sayings not only challenge the conventions of the time but also carry deep and mysterious meanings, inviting readers on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual enlightenment, tuning into the highest vibrations of the universe. As scholars began to decipher these texts, they realized they were facing a radically different vision of early Christianity. The Gnostic teachings contained in these manuscripts suggested that the divine was not distant or inaccessible, but inherent in each individual. Mystical knowledge, therefore, was not just an intellectual pursuit, but a transformative experience that could reveal true human potential, connecting us with a cosmic energy that permeates everything. The Gospel of Thomas, in particular, presents a series of sayings that function like spiritual riddles, each offering a clue to self-knowledge and connection with the divine. For example, one of the most enigmatic sayings is, whoever finds the interpretation of these words will never experience death. This teaching suggests a promise of immortality, not through physical means, but through deep and spiritual understanding of Jesus' teachings, which resonate with the frequency of universal truth. These manuscripts reveal a dimension of faith that is more introspective and personal, challenging the authority of dogmas and rituals established by organized religion. They propose that the true path to salvation is through inner exploration and the discovery of hidden knowledge that resides within each of us, tuning us to the vibrations of higher consciousness. By unraveling the secrets contained in these texts, contemporary scholars and spiritual seekers are invited to re-examine their own beliefs 
and embark on a journey of personal discovery. The Gospel of Thomas, with its sayings laden with deep meanings, offers a window into a spirituality that transcends the limitations of time and space, connecting us to a universal truth that has the power to transform our vision of ourselves and the world around us. Frequências vibracionais e alinhamento de energia Imagine these teachings acting as a vibrational frequency that can align our energy with the essence of the universe. The Gospel of Thomas and its impact. The Gospel of Thomas begins with an enigmatic promise. These are the secret words that the living Jesus spoke and Didymus Judas Thomas wrote. Whoever finds the interpretation of these words will never experience death. This text challenges our traditional understanding of Jesus, suggesting that he came to communicate a secret knowledge that could liberate humanity from its material limitations. This knowledge, aligned with the frequencies of cosmic energy, could elevate our consciousness to new levels of understanding and spiritual power. Contradiction with the Modern Bible If the teachings contained in the Gospel of Thomas had been included in the Modern Bible, Jesus' message could be seen in a new light, clearer, and more focused on the internal power contained within each person. This Gospel not only challenges the structure of traditional faith, but also places the power of manifestation and consciousness in the hands of each individual, proposing a more introspective and personal spirituality. The Gospel of Thomas is a collection of 114 sayings attributed to Jesus, many of which emphasize the idea that divinity and spiritual truth lie within ourselves. For example, one of the sayings states, The kingdom is inside you and outside you. When you know yourselves, then you will be known, and you will realize that you are the children of the living Father. This teaching challenges the belief that power and salvation come exclusively from external sources and suggests that true enlightenment and spiritual power come from self-knowledge and introspection. Including these texts in the modern Bible would have significantly changed the emphasis of Christian doctrine. While the canonical Gospels, such as those of John, Mark, Matthew, and Luke, place Jesus as the sole mediator between God and humanity, the Gospel of Thomas suggests that everyone possesses a divine spark and that mystical and personal knowledge can lead to salvation. This Gnostic perspective was seen as a threat by the ecclesiastical authorities of the time because it undermined the hierarchical and institutional structure of the Church. The idea that salvation could be achieved through secret and individual knowledge was contrary to the need for clerical mediation and established rituals. Additionally, the Gospel of Thomas contains many teachings that contradict Orthodox Christian doctrines, reinforcing the decision to exclude it from the biblical canon. Furthermore, the Gospel of Thomas proposes a view of the universe where divine energy permeates everything, a concept that resonates with ideas from quantum physics and modern metaphysics. The notion that consciousness and energy are fundamental to reality is a concept that finds parallels in many contemporary spiritual and scientific currents of thought. In summary, the inclusion of the teachings of the Gospel of Thomas in the modern Bible would have promoted a vision of faith centered on internal power and personal transformation through mystical knowledge. This approach, however, diverges radically from the traditional view that emphasizes the mediation of the church and rituals as paths to salvation, explaining why these texts were considered controversial and eventually excluded from the canon. The Gospel of Thomas and its removal from the Bible The Gospel of Thomas was removed from the Bible for several complex reasons deeply rooted in history and religious doctrine. One of the main reasons is that it presents a very different Jesus from the one described in the New Testament incorporating philosophical and spiritual principles that do not align with Christian orthodoxy. Beyond these theological justifications, the exclusion of the Gospel of Thomas may also hide an underlying fear of empowering the individual with knowledge that would make them less dependent on the religious structure. The Gnostic View and the Threat to Religious Structure The Gnostic teachings of the Gospel of Thomas emphasize the idea that salvation and enlightenment come from mystical knowledge and deep introspection. This esoteric knowledge suggests that each individual possesses a divine spark and that, through self-knowledge, they can access this inner divinity. Such a perspective places spiritual power in the hands of each person, directly challenging the need for clerical mediation and established religious rituals. This individual empowerment was seen as a threat to the cohesion and authority of the Church, which relied on the centralization of spiritual power. Contradictions with the Canonical Gospels While Canonical Gospels Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John portray Jesus as the sole mediator between God and humanity, the Gospel of Thomas suggests that everyone can attain divinity through inner knowledge. Thomas's teachings often contradict established narratives. For example, the Gospel of Thomas states, The kingdom is inside you and outside you. When you know yourselves, then you will be known, 
and you will realize that you are the children of the Living Father. This focus on internal divinity diverges radically from the canonical emphasis on the need for Jesus as the exclusive Savior, esoteric teachings, and the nature of knowledge. The Gospel of Thomas is filled with enigmatic sayings that function as spiritual koans, paradoxes meant to provoke deep introspection and spiritual awakening. These mystical teachings suggest that true wisdom and enlightenment are achieved through meditation and internal understanding, a view that resonates with concepts from quantum physics and modern metaphysics, where consciousness and energy are seen as fundamental to reality. This esoteric approach was not useful for building a cohesive religious institution focused on clear doctrines and structured rituals. In conclusion, the exclusion of the Gospel of Thomas from the Bible highlights the tension between institutionalized religion and individual spiritual empowerment. Its teachings propose a deeply personal and introspective path to divine knowledge, challenging the traditional structures of mediation and ritual, and suggesting that true spiritual power lies within each individual. Exclusion due to lack of linear narrative Unlike the canonical Gospels that follow a linear narrative of Jesus' life, the Gospel of Thomas presents a collection of 114 sayings without a cohesive story. This lack of continuous narrative and the emphasis on esoteric teachings made its acceptance difficult by the early church, which sought texts that could be used for doctrinal and liturgical instruction. The structure of the Gospel of Thomas, with its spiritual paradoxes and lack of linearity, was seen as inadequate for building an organized and institutionalized faith. The idea that mystical knowledge could liberate individuals from material limitations and connect each person directly to the divine without the need for an intermediary authority was profoundly subversive. Such a view threatened to undermine the dependence of the faithful on the church as the guardian of salvation and spiritual truth. By suggesting that each person possesses an internal power capable of transforming their reality, the Gospel of Thomas challenged the religious hierarchy and the need for a centralized structure of spiritual power. Spiritual and Metaphysical Impact The teachings of the Gospel of Thomas, with their focus on introspection and mystical knowledge, offer a spiritual vision that transcends the limitations of time and space. By promoting an understanding of the universe where divine energy permeates everything and consciousness is fundamental to reality, the Gospel connects to spiritual and scientific currents of thought that explore the quantum and metaphysical nature of existence. This approach provides a holistic way of understanding spirituality, suggesting that enlightenment and salvation are accessible to all who seek inner truth. Summary In summary, the Gospel of Thomas was excluded from the Bible for presenting a radically different vision of faith and salvation, challenging the Church's structure and authority, and promoting a spirituality centered on internal power and self-knowledge. This exclusion reflects not only a doctrinal disagreement, but also a fear of empowering individuals in a way that could undermine dependence on established religious structures. By focusing on esoteric knowledge and personal enlightenment, the Gospel of Thomas offers a spiritual perspective that continues to intrigue and inspire spiritual seekers today. The Power of Emotion and Unity Greg Braden, a renowned scholar of the Law of Attraction, suggests that the hidden teachings of the Bible, such as those found in the Gospel of Thomas, reveal the power of human emotion and its capacity to manifest reality. Braden argues that these Gnostic teachings not only explore internal divinity, but also highlight the importance of emotions as powerful creative forces. According to him, human emotion is a bridge between the conscious mind and the subtle energies of the universe, capable of shaping our physical reality. Emotion as a creative force. Braden proposes that human emotions, when aligned with clear and deep intentions, have the ability to influence the quantum field, the underlying matrix that connects all existence. This concept is rooted in the idea that our emotions vibrate at specific frequencies, and these vibrations can interact with a quantum field to manifest changes in the material world. For example, feelings of love, gratitude, and compassion resonate at high frequencies that can attract positive and harmonious experiences. In conclusion, the teachings of the Gospel of Thomas and the insights of modern scholars like Greg Braden emphasize the profound connection between internal knowledge, emotional resonance, and the ability to influence reality. These perspectives offer a powerful framework for understanding the transformative potential within each individual, challenging us to explore the depths of our own consciousness and the subtle energies that shape our existence. The Neuroscience of Emotions Modern neuroscience supports this view by revealing how emotions affect our brain and body. Research shows that positive emotions activate the brain's reward system, releasing neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin, 
which not only improve our mood but also enhance our ability to create and maintain social connections. These social connections, in turn, amplify our well-being and emotional resilience, creating a virtuous cycle of positive energy. Hidden Teachings and Historical Manipulation According to Braden, these teachings were present in spiritual traditions until the 4th century, when they were drastically edited or removed by figures like Emperor Constantine during the formation of the early Christian Church. Constantine and the early church councils sought to consolidate a unified and orthodox doctrine, removing texts and teachings that could promote divergent interpretations and weaken the centralized authority of the church. This process resulted in the exclusion of many Gnostic texts, including the Gospel of Thomas, which emphasized internal divinity and the power of esoteric knowledge. Unity and Spiritual Connection The teachings of the Gospel of Thomas also suggest a vision of unity and interconnectedness among all beings. The phrase, I am the light that is over all things. I am the all. From me, the all came forth, and to me, the all has returned. Split a piece of wood, I am there. Lift up the stone, and you will find me there, implies that divinity and universal consciousness permeate everything around us. This teaching echoes the idea that all aspects of reality are interconnected through a universal consciousness, a principle that strongly resonates with modern concepts of quantum physics and spirituality. Personal and Collective Transformation Braden highlights that reconnecting with these hidden teachings can have a profound impact on both personal and collective levels. On a personal level, understanding and utilizing the power of emotions can lead to significant transformation in one's life, promoting well-being, fulfillment, and harmony. On a collective level, applying these principles can contribute to creating a more conscious and connected society, where people recognize their interdependence and work together to manifest a more peaceful and sustainable world. The Role of Metaphysics in Spiritual Understanding Metaphysics, as a field of study that explores the nature of reality beyond the physical, complements these ideas by suggesting that mind and spirit are primordial creative forces in the universe. Metaphysical theories propose that our consciousness has the power to influence matter, and that the external reality is a reflection of our internal beliefs and emotions. This aligns with the Gnostic perspective of the Gospel of Thomas, which sees internal knowledge and self-discovery as keys to spiritual enlightenment. The hidden teachings found in the Gospel of Thomas, as interpreted by scholars like Greg Braden, offer a powerful and transformative vision of spirituality. They invite us to recognize the power of human emotions as creative forces and to explore the interconnectedness of all forms of life. By reclaiming and applying these teachings, we can not only transform our individual lives, but also contribute to the spiritual evolution and global unity. The Lost Knowledge Over the centuries, we have lost crucial information that connected all things and taught us the language of the quantum field. Manuscripts such as the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Nag Hammadi Library are beginning to restore this lost knowledge. These texts reveal that each person possesses an inner higher power capable of profoundly transforming their reality. These ancient manuscripts contain teachings that challenge modern understandings of spirituality and science. They suggest that at the heart of reality, there is a deep interconnection between all things, a field of energy and consciousness that can be influenced by our thoughts and emotions. This quantum field, as proposed by some interpretations of modern physics, can be understood as an energetic fabric that connects all particles of the universe. Gnostic teachings provide a bridge between this scientific view and a spiritual understanding of reality. Egypt's Role in Preserving Knowledge Egypt played a crucial role in preserving and transmitting this esoteric knowledge. The Egyptian civilization is known for its profound spiritual wisdom and advances in architecture, medicine, and astronomy, which were closely linked to their religious beliefs and esoteric practices. The temples and libraries of Egypt were centers of learning, where priests and initiates studied the mysteries of the universe and the spiritual laws governing life. The Dead Sea Scrolls, discovered in the caves of Qumran near the Dead Sea, contain religious texts and documents dating from approximately 200 BCE to 100 CE. These manuscripts include biblical and apocryphal texts that offer a broader view of the religious beliefs and practices of the time. Among them are writings that reflect the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of internal knowledge for spiritual transformation. The Nag Hammadi Library, discovered in Upper Egypt in 1945, is a collection of Gnostic writings dating from the 3rd and 4th centuries CE. These texts include gospels, treatises, and other writings that emphasize the pursuit of esoteric knowledge and understanding of reality as an interconnected field of energy and consciousness. The Nag Hammadi texts, like the Gospel of Thomas, offer insights into the divine nature of the human being 
and the ability to transform reality through knowledge and introspection. Spiritual and Scientific Interconnection The teachings of these manuscripts suggest that at the heart of reality is a deep interconnection between all things. This concept is similar to ideas proposed by some interpretations of quantum physics, which see the universe as an energetic fabric where all particles are connected by invisible forces. The idea that our thoughts and emotions can influence this quantum field resonates with the Gnostic teachings that consciousness and intention are powerful forces capable of shaping our life experience. In conclusion, the hidden teachings of the Gospel of Thomas and similar texts, as interpreted by scholars like Greg Brayton, offer a transformative vision of spirituality that emphasizes the power of human emotions and the interconnectedness of all things. By integrating knowledge from neuroscience and metaphysics, these teachings suggest that true personal and collective transformation comes from harmonizing mind, body, and spirit with the universal laws of love and unity. In summary, the ancient manuscripts of the Dead Sea and Nag Hammadi are restoring a lost knowledge that suggests a deep interconnection between all things and the ability of each person to transform their reality through inner power. These teachings provide a bridge between the modern scientific view of the quantum field and a spiritual understanding of reality, highlighting Egypt's crucial role in preserving this esoteric knowledge. By rediscovering and applying these teachings, we can not only transform our individual lives, but also contribute to spiritual evolution and global unity. The Gospel of Thomas contains many powerful sayings that offer profound insights into the nature of reality and being. One of the most notable is verse 3, which states, The kingdom is inside you and outside you. When you know yourself, then you will be known, and you will realize that you are the children of the living Father. This teaching challenges the traditional belief that power and salvation are exclusively outside the individual, emphasizing that true power resides within each of us. This perspective suggests that the search for truth and enlightenment should begin with introspection and self-knowledge, recognizing the internal divinity that each person possesses. Another significant saying is verse 77, where Jesus says, I am the light that is over all things. I am the all. From me, the all came forth, and to me, the all has returned. Split a piece of wood, I am there. Lift up the stone, and you will find me there. This teaching suggests that divinity and universal consciousness permeate everything around us. Understanding this unity can transform our perception of life and the universe, reminding us that the divine presence is not confined to sacred places or specific moments, but is present in all aspects of everyday reality. The teachings of the Gnostic manuscripts, including the Gospel of Thomas, also allude to a language of the quantum field that connects all things. This language is not composed of traditional words, but of frequencies and vibrations. In other words, our thoughts and emotions can be seen as forms of energy that interact with the quantum field, influencing the manifestation of reality. This view resonates with some modern interpretations of quantum physics, which suggest that observation and intention can affect the behavior of subatomic particles. Quantum physics proposes that, at the most fundamental level, reality is composed of subatomic particles that exist in a state of potentiality, capable of assuming different states depending on observation and intention. This concept is known as the observer effect and suggests that human consciousness can influence physical reality. This idea aligns with the Gnostic teachings that consciousness and intention are powerful forces capable of shaping our life experience. Introspection and self-knowledge are central themes in the Gospel of Thomas. By turning inward and exploring our own internal divinity, we can reach a deeper level of understanding and enlightenment. This process of self-discovery is essential for unlocking inner power and transforming our reality in a meaningful way. The teachings of the Gospel of Thomas remind us that we are all connected through a field of universal energy and consciousness. This interconnectedness suggests that our actions, thoughts, and emotions not only affect our own lives but also the world around us. By cultivating positive emotions and elevated intentions, we can contribute to creating a more harmonious and balanced reality. The Gospel of Thomas offers a profound and transformative vision of spirituality, emphasizing the importance of self-knowledge and introspection. By recognizing and exploring our internal divinity, we can unlock our true potential and positively influence the reality around us. These Gnostic teachings, when combined with modern ideas from quantum physics, provide a holistic approach to understanding the interconnectedness of all things and the power of human consciousness. The Gospel of Thomas represents our connection with universal consciousness. This knowledge liberates humanity, transforming our view of ourselves and the world. By rediscovering these teachings, we can manifest a fulfilled and conscious life, 
where heaven on earth is not just a concept but an achievable reality. By integrating the teachings of the Gospel of Thomas with concepts from neuroscience, metaphysics, and quantum physics, we can begin to understand the depth of the internal power we possess. This knowledge allows us to see beyond the limitations imposed by external structures and recognize our true potential as co-creators of our reality. The journey to rediscover and apply these ancient teachings can lead to personal and collective transformation, aligning our existence with the universal laws of love, unity, and elevated consciousness. If you enjoyed this content and want to continue exploring these fascinating mysteries, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave your like, and share this video with your friends on social media. This helps us bring more amazing content to you. And don't leave just yet. On the screen now, you'll see a recommended video for you to continue studying the subject. Click on it and deepen your knowledge even further. See you in the next video.